Welcome to Camp Technologies. In this video, we'll look at how to use the Loadmaster to do content switching in the Azure Cloud. First, let's look at a typical content switching requirement in Azure, where the Loadmaster presents a single URL to users and aggregates a number of application services running in the cloud. These could even be running in different Azure regions. Note that the mobile app is protected by Kemp's Web Application Firewall, and the secure version is protected not only by WAF, but also by Kemp's ESP, the Edge Security Pack, which provides authentication. In the Azure portal, we can see the application services running. Note that two of them are in West US, and the secure site is actually hosted in the East US region. For each of the application services, we set up a custom domain and uploaded an SSL certificate. Now this is important because from the Loadmaster to the different application services, we need to maintain security. So first off, we need to decrypt the traffic to do the Layer 7 processing for content switching. But to maintain security to those remote regions, we also need to re-encrypt to protect the traffic. Bring your own domain in Azure allows you to customize the DNS name for a particular service. So we do this for each of the services setting up uh, in the external DNS a pointer to the services that we have in place. Now note that an IP address is provided when we do this and this IP address will be used in the Loadmaster when we configure the real servers. As mentioned earlier we upload a certificate for each of the app services. And now looking in the Azure portal, in the custom domains and SSL tile, we can see the new host name present along with the certificate. Looking at Kemp site, which is, if you like, the primary site, uh, we can now see all the appropriate information in place. And there is now a virtual IP address within Azure, which will be used to connect this real server to the Loadmaster. See a similar summary here for the mobile site. Again, we have a different virtual IP address for this service. And again, for the secure site, uh, yet again, another virtual IP address that we'll use when we configure the Loadmaster. And in summary, this is for the virtual Loadmaster itself. Uh, we have a virtual IP address there, which is used when we set up DNS to point to apps.kempdemo.com. Looking now at the virtual service configuration within the Loadmaster for apps.kempdemo.com, we set up three sub-virtual services, one for each of the app services that exist. Now, point to note here is that Kempside is just doing uh, basic layer 7 traffic. The Kemp mobile site we configure with layer 7 and the application firewall and the Kemp Secure site we configure with WAF and with ESP as well. There are IP addresses there for the real servers, and these are the IP addresses that we noted in the earlier slides. Here are the content matching rules that the Loadmaster uses to route traffic to the appropriate app service through the sub-VS. Route will be used for the Kemp site, mobile will be used for the Kemp mobile site, and secure, of course, will be used for the Kemp Secure site. Uh, notice that we also have uh, ESP configured to provide pre-authentication for this site. Those rules are applied to the sub-virtual services. Note that Kemp Secure has two rules, uh, one, as we mentioned, for the secure site and the other to ensure pre-authentication. And here we see the rules for the basic Kemp site and for the Kemp mobile site. And finally, the rules configured for the Kemp secure site. Now we can configure the Edge security pack within the Loadmaster. This is what we're doing for the Kemp secure site. Note that a custom SSO form was added to provide a login form for the user. 
and now we have a small video clip that shows the user experience in navigating through these sites. So beginning at the main Kemp site, we navigate first off to the demo site. And here we see essentially the home page, which allows us to select either the mobile site or the secure site. And as you see, we've arrived at the mobile site. We can go back to the main site and now go to the secure site, where you see we're presented with the single sign-on form and we're required to enter our credentials to actually access this particular site. We log in, and now as you can see, we've accessed the secure website. These are just simple dummy pages with a, a single uh, page present, so not a lot to see, uh, but just proof that we are actually um, implementing content switching and able to access the three different sites in the modes described. And finally, back within our Loadmaster, we can actually see statistics for the various real servers that are implemented and get uh, you know, real-time data on what is going on there. So to wrap up, there's a couple of pieces of documentation that are available on the Kemp website that describe in detail setting up content rules within Loadmaster and more configuration details for the Edge Security Pack. And finally, if you're interested in what is going on with Loadmaster in the Azure Cloud, uh, you can visit our website as well. Thank you very much for watching.